Right, okay, this is um, June 15 AQA um, C3 paper, maths, and we're going to have a look at um, looking at sketching uh, sine to the minus 1 of 3x. Now, first of all, I want to just look at sine to the minus 1, uh, sine of x. Okay, so this is sine of x. It's um, uh, it's certainly not a one-to-one -one function, which is what you need to do in inverse. So in this case, we have to try and reduce our version of um, the sketch to a one-to-one -one function, which means not having two there. So you have to stop it here at pi over two and stop it here at minus pi over two. So when we're talking about inverse functions then, as well as being one-to-one, -one, um, what we do is we change the x to the y and the y to the x. So they're literally swapping over along the line y equals x. So where we have a graph of ln and e to the x, they're inverses of each other, and the square root and square. Um, if you look at x squared, you end up with this. And because it wants to be a one-to-one -one function, we have to avoid that. And then square root of x looks like that. And they are inverse functions of each other, because obviously they undo each other. Along the line, y equals x, they are reflected. And that's what we're trying to do with this. OK, so we have to start by looking at the original function and making it just a one to one function. And we do that then by stopping at those points. So this point here, up here, is where you've got pi by two is the x and one is the highest point. And this point here you've got is minus pi by two and minus one. So and then we do have the point going through the middle. So we know it goes through the middle of uh, the origin. However, our pi's are now going to be along here on our y-axis. They're going to be pi's. And here is going to be the actual values. So this at the point 1 and pi by 2 is going to be that point that we had there before. And at minus 1 and minus pi by 2 is going to be that point. OK, so you actually end up with this. Now, this is all very well for this is the sketch of y equals sine to the minus 1 of x, but we're actually looking for y equals sine to the minus 1 of 3x. So by looking at this point here, there's definitely been a translation or transformation, should I say. Um, it is a stretch, a scale factor of a third uh, parallel to the x-axis. So this means that the x values are going to change by a third. So that's minus 1 over 3. So the graph we're looking to draw is actually this type of graph, okay, where this value is a third, this value is minus a third, this is pi by minus pi by 2, and this is plus pi by 2. Okay? We want to have a look at the same thing on here. Um, we'd then say y equals um, inverse sine open bracket 3x close bracket equals draw. If it doesn't come out very nicely, then we go to shift v window trig. Have a look again. It's not very good. So we're going to do shift, zoom, auto, and see if that helps. And again, not really. Um, I did that, didn't I? Uh, zoom in on that point. I think we need the things. Mm. So it's not very clear, I admit, but it's as good as you're going to get, I think. So it's much better to have an idea, but at least then you can come out with some of the, you can look at some of the values, so you could check. So if you wanted to check, um, if we put in, we could put in an x value of 1 over 3, and it gives you a y value of that, which you need to check that that is definitely pi by 2. So we are correct on what we're looking for. It's just not always getting the best view of what we're trying to get. Okay, get rid of that. Um, next bit, 
Um, let's have a look at this. So this is differentiation. Given that x equals that, write down dx. Now we're going to differentiate then with terms to y. This isn't implicit differentiation. We, um, this is only in terms of y, so it's just normal differentiation. So sine goes to cos of y, and that's it. Very straightforward. Uh, but they don't want dx by dy, they want dy by dx, so we're going to flip everything upside down. So dy by dx is going to equal 1 over the third cos of y, which will give you 3 cos y, 3 over cos y, which is also the same as 3 lots of, and 1 over cos is sec y. Either this one or this will give you the full two marks. And that's number six. Done. Well done.